What's going on? In this video, I'm going to be talking about how I think through some of my strategies when trading cryptocurrency and trying to make some sweet bags, trying to get to that sweet Bitcoin. Now, uh, in my opinion, that there are different strategies pertaining to different types of coins, different types of holding uh, strategies and you know what you think about Bitcoin versus a meme coin versus a coin with tax or high tax or whatever, right? And so in this video, I'm gonna go through some of my guidelines because I do think they're guidelines. They're not hard and fast rules. They're just kind of, they, they could kind of, you know, move with the uh, different cryptocurrency projects that are out there. I'm gonna be talking about kind of like the mentality that you need to do work on because it is just all a mental game when taking profits. It really is. You're fighting with your own emotion, your own lizard brain. That's why we always say just a lizard brain. Don't overthink things, okay? And then I'm gonna go through and role play different scenarios with the very crypto projects that I've picked or interviewed in the last, I don't know, month or so. So if you're new to this channel, my name is Aaron. I'm just trying to get a Bitcoin for every kid I'm trying to have which is a lot, <laughs> so I'm just trying to also help you to your first Bitcoin. So if you wanna join me and a whole bunch of lizard brain and gorilla armed diamond handed cowboys, hit the subscribe button down below. Also join cowboysofcrypto.com. That's where you can be an official cowboy today. Um, but yeah, let's just get right into this video. So I am thinking about uh, someone in the saloon, I forget who, but a couple of people have asked, hey, Aaron, can you make a video on how to take profits and what you're, you know, how you're thinking on taking profits in cryptocurrency? Because a lot of times people hold, they, they buy a coin and they hold it on the way, all the way up and then it, they don't know when it, the top hits and so they hold all the way to the bottom and it's just like this big roller coaster of emotions and if anything they're sitting at the same price or if not lower because of the tax you know it's like a 20% tax so you have to at least you know win 20% of your money for a 10% tax in and a 10% tax out and these are just some of the things so I would just like to say that none of this is financial advice. I'm just a cowboy with a lizard brain, okay? I, I, this is just my personal thoughts. Don't take this as financial advice. Take this as someone who, this is my just personal fun opinion. Now, I think the number one thing to keep in mind is for me, that a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. What does that mean? It means that the profits that you have in your hand, if, if, if you've got a bird, right? And you cut a bird and you see that there's another bird in there, you know, you're gonna, you're not gonna release your bird and try to grab two more birds and then try to grab your third bird. You know what I mean? Like it's too risky to let go of your bird to grab more birds. What this is, I'm not sure I'm sure if I'm making the sense of this, but basically saying, if you have a bird, keep it. It's not worth the risk trying to get two birds in there. What does this mean? If you make profit in crypto, if you buy a crypto at $100 and it shoots to 150 and you don't know if it's gonna make it to 200, it's best to just lock it in and take that home. What does taking home mean? It, mean, it means transferring that into either BNB or stable coins or Bitcoin, okay? That's gen or Ethereum. Generally, depending on what network you're swapping on, if you're trading on Uniswap, best probably to trade to Ethereum or you know USDT, USDC. You can do that too. That's very likely. I personally don't like. Tr I like to trade bigger trades on Uniswap. So it depends. Binance. I like trading back to BNB because you know a lot of it's liquid and I could move in and out of projects easier. Now, uh, when you lock in profits, that's what you're doing. So a bird in the hand. It's worth two in the bush. Having locked in secured profits is better than risking losing it all, trying to grab more coins. And I think, and I think you'll see uh, that play out, you know, for, further on when we roll play through some of these scenarios. Now, also, in coupled with that, when you're trading, good is better than perfect. Okay, good is better than perfect. What does this mean? It mean it means that no one is going to be able to time the market to sell at the exact top of the green stick or buy at the exact bottom of the of the red stick it never happens right this is why people implement a, a trading strategy called ladder you know dollar cost averaging in or laddering in because when you're trading coins no one can no one knows this is crypto it goes up it goes down it, it, who knows what elon will tweet and it'll make shoot things off or shoot things to the floor you know what i mean like so when people dollar cost average in it just takes all the volatility out of the market and you could then just dollar cost average not having to worry about that now dollar cost averaging in and dollar cost averaging out means every day you buy a little bit 
or if it's up every day you sell a little bit just like a small percentage or however you feel comfortable and the reason why you do that is just again to take volatility out of that equation the x factor and this is only possible with coins that don't have any tax i.e bitcoin ethereum all that stuff or high um uh trend or gas fees right because you can't really do that with a uniswap i mean, you, just, you just can't especially if you're trading in like the even the thousands right you you wouldn't want a hundred dollar gas fee every time <laughs> it's just like crazy but you could do that with binance you could do that on um solana you could do that in other places but you just can't do that on ethereum and you can do that on exchanges okay so do that now the next kind of guideline is read your emotions because it never feels good if you're doing it properly okay read your emotions if you're buying at the very bottom right when there's no hype when it's a project that's redlining or flatlining and stuff like that it doesn't feel good it doesn't feel good i'm gonna put a lot of money into this when it it's just like crashed into oblivion okay it doesn't feel good and it doesn't feel good it i mean most of the time when you're selling at the top because you are always scared that it's going to go even higher it's okay it's okay you got to read your emotions and trade like a machine okay you are a machine okay you can't be guided by this thing right here this thing is a liar okay it's a liar it will lie to you especially when you're trading because you'll want this fomo this FOMO is so strong, like, oh, it's gonna, it's gonna 2x from here. Who cares, baby? You already made 2x. Be happy, okay? No one's gonna, <laughs> no one's gonna cry for you, okay? Oh, he could have, uh, no, stop, stop, stop the nonsense. And if you're buying at the bottom, you know, people, it, they lack the conviction sometimes, myself included, unless you know that it's a fundamentally good and sound project. And so, for me there are three types of holds generally the first is a short term hold okay count these as mean projects count these as like you know I'm, i don't really trust the fundamentals the use case i don't trust any of that but there's hype into it so if you're buying into it it's because of hype and that it'll shoot to the moon the second one is a long-term hold this is something where and you could take profits here right uh Fun, like it's fundamentals and hype like oh there's a use case oh there's a team docs oh there's you know other people investing so there's fundamentals and hype so i would probably put something like solana into this right um that seems like that seems right to me um where you could take profits periodically and add to your position periodically and third are never sells there's only one in the never sell category and that is bitcoin for me bitcoin is a never sell uh, it's the hardest asset possible and so I would never want to sell that hard asset. And so if I accumulate it, it's locked. I'm not selling it at all anymore. And that's where I'm at right now. And this is just my opinion again. Um, so uh, when you take profit, there are a couple of different instances where you take profit at. The first um, is if, if you make a gain or a bag, you can take your initial investment out. That's a good idea to do. When you take your initial investment out, you pull it, you, you know, you say you put in $100, it shoots to $200. If you take $100 out, you're playing with house money at that point. At that point, you shouldn't feel bad or good if it goes. It's it's house money. You 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 won. You you know you made some bag, you made some bags, and then you get. Um, another one is to take at different percentage points. For me, it's twenty five percent, fifty percent, seventy five, and one hundred percent. For most short term investments, I take about a hundred percent, if not seventy five percent. Okay, especially if they have a high tax on it. I don't like dollar cost averaging in or out. I get in, get out, make a quick bag. I don't feel sad for myself. If I made a 3x gain and then it goes to a 6x gain, I don't feel sad because I made a 3x gain. You gotta, you know, check your emotions, read your own emotions. If it's a long-term hold, I tend to slide slide towards like 25%, okay, uh, or or 10, 25%, somewhere around in that range. So Solana, if it shoots up to end moons, oh great, I have a future, I have a long-term perspective on something like Solana, so I'm holding it for months, if not years. So but I do want to lock in profits. Why is it important to lock in profits? Because you want to be able to buy the dip. That's how we make money. You can't be making money uh, if you don't, if you can't buy a dip, if you have no dip, you got no chip. <laughs> you know what I'm so you got to, I don't know if that made sense, but it makes sense in my brain. You can't buy the dip if you ain't got no chip. So you have to sell periodically 10 to 25% on long-term holds. Okay. You just have to. Okay. And, um, that just that just what is what makes sense for me so if it's a short term term i hold uh you know these small micro cap projects i tend to sell especially with high taxes i tend to sell off in 75 to 100 percent 
If it's a uh, long-term holds, I, I tend to sell off a little bit around the 25% mark. This is just me. Of course, there are, you could choose any kind of percentage. Also, it depends on like the amount you're buying into, right? If you're buying in with only 50 bucks, and it shoots up, you probably just want to get out, right? Probably just get, want to get out and like look for the next one. If you're buying in with thousands of dollars, you probably just want to do 25. It depends, right? It's like you take these guidelines and you kind of fuse them all. Okay, we're about 10 minutes into this. I want to go through some some role playing here uh, because I think that I hopefully that was helpful, right? Um, so BNB Pay is a little darling project of ours. We we just scoped this August 3rd, right? August 3rd is when we looked at this project. Um, and uh, that's when it was brought to our attention. And so this is what it would look like on August 3rd, right here, boom, at this stick. Now you could be saying to yourself, okay, if I bought it down here, all right, um, you know, well, you gotta, first you gotta decide, hey, what's this project to be? Is this a short-term hold or a long-term hold or a never sell? Um, if I bought it right here, if I sold right here, like, right, you do some math, right? Triple zeros one four to triple zeros two, right? So you go, point triple zeros one four to triple zeros two you made 42 percent if it's a 10 percent tax you sell you sell it right there then uh you're you know then you're um you're th you're up 30 percent 30 percent is good you know who, who's who's crying about 30 percent you know what i'm saying now okay here's everyone's fear okay here's everyone's fear if if it's uh august 3rd and you know my my account you know you saw it on our channel it's August 3rd, boom, ho, ho, ho. August 4th comes around and it goes triple zero six, okay? So, point zero 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 six, and now you're up 328%. Okay, Aaron, you'd be like, Aaron, it tripled on me and you told me to sell early. Look, no one knew that that was gonna happen. No one knew. Why? Because Freaking no one knows. Sorry, that's another. So because the, even the project owners don't know. And here's what would could happen too. Boom, another one. It shoots up and now you're at double zeros one. Okay, so what happens when you're at double zeros? Double zeros one. You're at 600% gain. It's incredible. It's an incredible game. Okay, at triple zeros, at triple zero, this one right here, you'd be no fool to sell right here. You'd be no fool. Even if you sold at the top here, you would have made, you would have made 3x on your investment. If you sold at the top here, you made 6x in your investment. Who cares? 3x is 6x, it's okay, you made 3x, right? And that's the kind of internal struggle you have to deal with, right? Hey, is, is this enough? Did I just make enough? Why? Because this could happen. Because <laughs> if you FOMO'd in and you bought right here, then you are crashing down all the way back down here because just two days later you're back you're back if not lower than where you were than where you could have locked in your position here it's just it's just true and then what happens no one can tell boom this could happen right here look this this is crypto it could drop even further and then it could go up right here it comes up and then it's going to come crashing down and then it goes up so like if you're buying in here so if you held up, this is what happens to a lot of people. They buy in here, you know, it, it comes up, boom. If they bought in here, it could have very well. This, this is not that all that normal, but you know, it does happen as we see in BNP pay. And then if it makes this 2X bag, you gotta sell, you have to sell. And if, if I were you, I would have sold 100% to me. I would have sold 100%. Because this, this to me was like, at the time, I didn't realize the potential. After the second one, I mean, boy, I was buying in but this right here it's just so it's just so bad because when you crash and it feels just so bad it does okay the next one ada boy okay ada boy we saw at october 6 all right and so this is what it looks like on october 6 right here see on pucoin you're on october 6 now if you're buying okay you're buying on october 6 and it does something like this and it's going up so what what happens well, you don't want to buy or sell. This is just kind of sideways. That's that's not much, right? Like five, what is that? Five zeros one four to five zeros one five. That's not that much. And then it's gonna dip. What do you do here? Do you do you sell? No, you don't sell in the red, right? You bought for a reason, okay? You want to trust your your reasons to buy. You, you that initial buy, you you know you didn't FOMO and you did your research like a like a good cowboy, and just wait, just wait. Oh, boom! 
would you sell here? No, I wouldn't. That's not, a, I mean, especially with the tax, right? Like this is triple uh, five zeros one seven and you bought it like five zeros one four. That's not too, that's not worth it to me, okay? Just let it ride. Boom, all of a sudden, boom, October 13 comes around. And now this is like about 10 days after, or what is that, 13 days after, so almost two weeks after someone sees it. Now, what do you do here? Do you sell? Of course you do. Of, of freaking course you do. Of course you sell. Because this could happen. Boom. Now we're at this point where we have no idea where it will go. It will go up. It will go down. Look, no one knows. Not even Ada boys know. They, they want, they'll want. they tell you. Like, I'm friends with them. Right? I interviewed them. I'm friends now. Right? I, don't, I didn't know them before. But they'll tell you they have no idea. And if they think they know, if they say we're going up and up, it's because they're Ada boy. Right? I'm just being real with you. Then that's what any coin developer should be saying, honestly. If they're not, they're not good coin developers. <laughs> they should be saying that. But you have to trust your instinct. Can you sell, should you sell here? I would say yes. How much should you sell? I don't know, it depends on how you see this. Is it a long-term hold? Is it a short-term? Is this a never sell? To me, I'm selling 50%. To me, that's what I'm doing. Uh, or at least taking out initial investment, at least think. Good, please take out your initial investment and let's ride with house money from there, okay? Another one, Flocky Frunk Puppy came to us October 13. So October 13, this is what it would look like, okay? This is actually October 12, because this is when I let the um, the saloon know when I was interviewing them, because I shot the interview, and then it shot up. Here we go, boom, okay? I let everyone in the saloon know, If you and if you don't know, join the saloon, okay? Join, join Cowboys of Crypto. That's where I try to release all my videos earlier, especially ones that I do developer interviews on, because I know that, you know, they they do they they do tend to pump after my videos which is which is great right it's i've got multiple videos showing like what I, my interviews have done and i'm very grateful for it i don't want to say like it, i'm pumping or whatever i'm not saying that but if this thing sorry if flocky frunk puppy does this you freaking sell what ends up happening is people fomo in and then it crashes you know news comes out and it crashes even more and now this is where it's at okay so what do you do with a project if you bought bought in here well if you sell you lost but if you trust the dev which i do i trust jen um but if you trust the project and trust you know the hype behind it you know i i would hold there's no there's no use in selling it's it's already a loss you know you might as well hold to me that's that's my that's what i would do and i would have never bought in with like a lot of big a big bag so yeah i mean it's rough but that's what happens now right here uh i made a video on a couple of gaming coins and so my neighbor alice was one of them so here's my neighbor alice and this is when i put it out there if you're if you're buying in at this point when it's green stick you, you first of all you shouldn't buy in when it's this pump you should never buy in when it's pumped up like this when it drops down you know if you if you're waiting you know and then pops up again and you're like oh you're kicking yourself don't kick yourself there's so many more crypto projects out there to to look at there's so many crypto projects that can make you money it's there's no one magic coin that will make you money other than bitcoin in my opinion and so you're just gonna have to wait see look and it always retraces and comes back down look this now you're back to where you were and now you know now you could start buying and look it goes down even further so don't think that this is the end all be all you got to have a longer time frame look now if you're back here 1106 you, it's like the same thing it's <laughs> you're cheaper so you know what i'm saying so like um, I don't know. I, I, I just, w I would have a longer time frame, and I wouldn't be like totally committed to one. Here's another one, Ultra, all right, that I had, that I had picked out. And if you picked out Ultra and it pops up right here, boom, you're selling, dude. You're selling. You have to. If you're, if you caught the wick up, you have to sell. Otherwise, it always comes back down. Look, this. Oh, this one's coming back. It, do you see it right up? And this is on the day chart. Or no, this is the. What is? It? Yeah, this is the day chart. It rode up, then it rides back down. You know what I'm saying? So you have to sell your profits. And hopefully this is some good perspective for people. Anyway, uh, oh, this is probably a good time to buy. Oh, never mind. You see, see right here, it's up. It's up right now. I would not buy um, Ultra, even though I like the project. I'd wait for it to come down back to where these levels are. Anyway, I hope this makes sense. I hope I put some stuff in perspective. Guys, don't overthink things. If you guys want to join us on CowboysCrypto.com, or the telegram let me know just you know links are in the description anyway guys this is a long enough video lizard brain gorilla arms diamond hands thanks for uh suggesting this uh video saloon thank you so much hopefully you enjoy it and i will see you guys on the moon thanks again for watching